Hello everyone, we're back with another heavily requested carpet cleaner comparison. We have the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet in black and turquoise and in gray and blue and white is the Hoover Power Dash Pet. Both of these are two compact carpet cleaners priced at around $100. They have very similar designs. The brush rolls, that one's kind of dirty and that one's kind of dirty too, but they both have similar brush roll designs. I have my camera stand set up right here. And we have grape jelly-ish type stuff. It's like a berry sauce, soda, some of the grape jelly guts on that as well. Taco Bell sauce and ketchup. We're gonna fill the tank. The tanks are up to their fill lines and we're gonna be using today. I was gonna use Hoover Clean Plus, but I decided because it was really foamy last time to use Rug Doctor Platinum. Where's the fill line? Yep, that's the 1.5 ounce fill line. To use Rug Doctor Platinum Pure with Oxy. That's up to the 1.5 ounce fill line. Now we can put the tank caps on. And then all we do is tank the tanks and shake them thoroughly to make sure that all of the Rug Doctor detergent is mixed with the hot tap water. So give me a second and we'll be right back. So now the clean water tanks are in the machines. Let's begin the test right now. We're gonna start off with the Hoover Power Dash Pet. erased the soda. It did a pretty good job on the berry sauce. Got most of the Taco Bell and most of the ketchup. Now let's continue with the Bissell and see how the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet does on an equally dirty bass. <laughs> Okay, so I have my microphone back on. Let's see what these 
come on. Uh, carpet cleaners were able to do. Let's check the result. So it's definitely looks like another win for Bissell. They both got rid of the soda. As I said before, the soda accidentally got mixed with the grape, or not grape jelly, but the berry sauce. So you can see the soda's gone, but the berry sauce. You can see the Bissell did a better job of erasing the Taco Bell sauce. More Taco Bell sauce, less Taco Bell sauce. Clearly a difference. The Hoover left a lot more ketchup in its pass. You can see the Bissell got a lot more of the ketchup up. The Hoover's still pretty visible. The Bissell's is almost gone, which is impressive. So overall, I think these carpet cleaners did a very good job. So we're gonna take more passes with each machine and see how clean we can get these carpets. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet and the Hoover Power Dash Pet. We're going over the final results. As you saw, the Bissell was superior in cleaning performance to the Hoover. So I gotta give the win to the Power Brush Pet. It's a better machine. And that's not the only reason. Let's examine the water tanks. So let's back this up a little bit. And there's another reason why you should buy the Bissell. The Hoover's water tank is right here. This is how you empty it right here. Looks pretty cool, okay. That's all you can do. This tank does not come apart anymore. This is just clipped on, this is not a lid. So if you get something nasty in here that clogs up or gets stinky, all you can do is run water through this hole and I've had this machine get smelly before because you can't really deep clean the inside of the tank. So it's gonna get all smelly and nasty in there. That's not a good design choice. This is, okay, that's, I think that's in. Okay, that's it on the Bissell. Make sure you can see this. Yeah, you can, you can do these two latches. On the Bissell, it pours the same way, but if you go to the bottom and grab this handle, you can untwist like that, grab here, 
and this whole centerpiece comes out. So you have access to the inside of the tank and this water separator piece. This keeps the clean and dirty water. Like this keeps the air intake and the dirty water entrance clean so they don't mix. So Bissell wins again for that design feature. The Bissell's also a little bit more sturdily made. If you see this, this piece will move a little bit, but on the Hoover, it's really floppy. The only thing that's keeping it upright and how this mechanism works is just this little piece of plastic right here. That's all there is. So if that breaks, your machine won't stay upright. On the Bissell, it's this big clamp, this large clamp piece right here. It's a little bit more sturdy in my opinion. They are drippy, so I need to wipe them off. The Hoover is also, the Bissell, excuse me, is also quieter than the Hoover is by a lot. The one thing I do like about the Hoover is the power button is that red one here rather than having to bend down and mess with this little thing. But at least Bissell does have a rubber seal over it so the power button can't get water in it. The cords are, I believe, both 20 feet, so no victory there. The Bissell is easier to disassemble with these clips, so if you need to pack it up, that's another win for the Bissell. I'm trying to look for anything else. Oh, there is one more thing. There is one more thing. Oh, to clean the nozzles out on your machine. The Hoover is extremely difficult. You have to do that right there, and then it just takes the nozzle off. That's good, but... There's this little line right here where dirt and stuff, you can see it in there. Let me zoom the camera in. This is just dirt and pet hair that's all caked in here and is pretty much impossible to get out without ripping the machine apart. And if you do want to take the machine apart, it's not exactly easy. It's really difficult actually to take these, the Hoover apart. The Bissell's easier. You can see the breeze in the Bissell one of the reasons is look at the brush roll on the Bissell versus the brush roll on the Hoover. Softer brushes on the Hoover and less of them. More dense brush roll. It requires one, two, three screws to take the brush roll out on the Bissell. To take the brush roll on the Hoover, you need one, two, three, four, five, six, six screws. There might be another one up in there. It's six screws, so it's kind of a pain. It's not as easy on the Hoover. The Bissell also is lighter weight, I believe, and it's also quieter, as I said before. But I honestly would just save your money and buy this Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet. It's a better machine in pretty much every way, and it's easier to clean out the nozzle on the Bissell. I'm gonna take the water tank off and show you exactly what I mean by this. If you pull right here, I just did this a few minutes ago. You can take, this is actually a two piece nozzle. This is the top part of the nozzle. So if dirt gets stuck and caked up in here, you can take this separate piece off and access the entire inside of the suction opening in case you have vomit or a weird other gross nasty stains get stuck in there and make the machine stink. You can access the machine easier on the Bissell. So I overall would buy the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet. It's the same price as the Hoover and performs better and is easier to clean. The disgusting nastiness that gets caked up in this nozzle is not easy to remove. I would honestly just get the Bissell, in my opinion. I've used both of these machines and I paid for both of these machines and I would buy the Bissell Turbo Clean instead of the Hoover. It's got easier maintenance, more cleaning performance, is quieter, and they both weigh about the same and cost about the same. So I would recommend the Bissell over the Hoover in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this video with the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet and the Hoover Power Dash Pet. I will put a link in the description to both of these machines and where you can buy them. Again, Bissell is the one I would recommend, but I'll put both in just in case you can't get the Bissell or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought this was fun to watch. Hope you thought this was uh, informational and I will see you next time. Goodbye.